down. Had a million and sixty, I have, you need to bid to buy. If you want to buy, you need to bid. It's an old saying, but it's true. It's a November Saturday in Glen Iris and potential property buyers are out in force, attending and bidding at auction. It's the modern day battlefield for today's property buyers. I'm speaking with auctioneers Steve Burke and Nick Gould as they take a number of properties to auction. I'm Steve Burke from Hocking Stewart Glen Iris. I'm a director here at the company and uh, very excited to have a chat today. We are, have got a busy day ahead. We've got five auctions scheduled for the day and uh, looking forward to going out there in a very strong market and getting some bidding and getting some very good results for our clients. My name's Nicholas Gould. Uh, I'm a sales executive and auctioneer here at Hocking Stewart in Glen Iris as well. I think it's seen very much as a glamorous industry where people just see the public side on auction day where people hand out brochures and there's a lot of bidding and it's all very exciting, people drive up in flashy cars. But there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes and that is a lot of administration work, a lot of telephone calling, a lot of prospecting. To actually get to auction day, it can be a two or three year journey. It certainly takes a specific set of skills and a personality type. I mean, not everybody wants to do it. Not everybody's comfortable doing it. Um, because effectively as well, you're a big advertisement for, for, the, for your agency and for the company itself. Okay, here's for a good day. We're driving out to one big Coolangatta Road, Camberwell. It's a three bedroom townhouse which has been on the market for four weeks with 55 groups inspecting. Two or three of those have come back for a second look and Steve's hoping they'll be bidding today. Real estate's all about comparing apples with apples and recently next door sold for 871 with another agent so we're hoping that's our yardstick and we're certainly hoping to achieve a better price than that there today. There's a lot of people here today but not many serious bidders. Steve has to try his best to coax bids out of a reluctant crowd. The vendor's reserve is 908,000, slightly unrealistic given next door sold for just 971,000. Well, I placed an opening bid of $800,000, drawing a line in the sand, Bindle bid, letting you know. We're looking for a $10,000 rise from there. At $800,000, invite you in for a $10,000 rise. Don't miss the opportunity. Get yourselves into... At $830,000, looking for eight forty dollars now. Invite you in. Anybody else at all? Sir, you're bidding, you're just stretching. At $830,000, call it three times. Once, twice, third, forty now. At eight forty, dollars I have. For a $10,000 bid now, call it three times. Once, twice, third and final call at eight hundred and forty thousand. Bidding, madam, at eight forty. Well, just excuse me, folks, because we're doing the bid. After a few minutes and another vendor bid of nine hundred and fifty thousand, it passes in on a bid of nine hundred and sixty thousand to the young couple, well below the vendor's reserve. Steve must now work to get the two to meet in the middle. The vendor is upstairs in the second room as Steve negotiates at the kitchen table. This is where the skills of an auctioneer really come into play. It's a tense situation for the vendor. Steve knows that these were one of the few genuinely interested bidders at the auction. Next door sold not that long ago, but the price was pushed up in a bidding war between this couple and the eventual buyer. With their competition out of the way, the couple know they're in a strong position. negotiation pins from here, so we're just giving the purchasers a few minutes chance, breathing space to talk to their family to work out what they're prepared to pay, and uh, the vendor the same. And we're looking to see if we can bring the parties together. Cool. <laughs> We've been called in some of the time. Put a smile, which is good. Yeah. We're sort of thinking that the, the upper limit for us would be 870000 Right, so that's, uh, that's where we're, where we're at currently. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're getting closer. What's happened is uh, real estate's a little bit fickle, and sometimes when you quote pretty honestly and accurately in our marketplace, it can have an effect on the bidding. Yeah. Over here they've quoted, I think from memory, it's more like 7 to 770. That's right. Yes, yeah. correct. Mm -hmm. So we've taken that sales evidence on board and yes. been as transparent as we can in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. yeah, sure. So if we had to start at 6 to 660 or 7 to 770, yeah. we could have had a, probably a similar situation, but we have to reflect in our pricing strategy, mm -hmm. the most recent accurate sales. So yeah. Yeah, we're happy to put that to them. I don't think that will be enough. Yeah. because that's still less than next door. This yeah. is bigger land. Mm. It's in better presentation. You saw that one. Mm -hmm. But let's mm. see what we can do to keep moving yeah. towards yeah. it. Yeah. 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 All right, we'll put that to them. Just give us a few minutes. Great. They've now lifted their quote by 10, their offer by 10,000. So 8 to 70. 
Yeah. It's not enough yet, but they're showing some willingness. Okay. We need to go back and show them some willingness too. Mm. I think if there was something 880 or better, you'd be wise to be considering, mm. to be honest. It's up to you, but yeah, mm -hmm. that's where I think we need to be. I don't think I can go at 880. No, under 900, no. Okay. Mm. No, no. We need to go back to them saying to show some willingness. How about if we go back and show 890 and see what the deal is? Or, or go back at 900. That's all 900. Yeah, from 908 yeah. to 900. Let's yeah. see what we can... Yeah. There's going to have to be a... Yeah. 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 So yeah. we don't have a whole lot of options at the moment. Yeah. They're our buyer. Yeah. So we've got a chance to get a cash unconditional contract today. Right. So if they sign that, they don't call off, yeah. and that's for up to three days after the auction. Right. Yeah. So let's go back to the 900. Yeah. So the bindle has now moved from 908 to 900. Mm -hmm. It's still showing there's still possible a bit of willingness. If we could possibly yeah. make halfway, there's a chance we get a deal. Yeah. Okay. We need a minute or? No, no, we're, we're pretty firm yeah. in our, yeah. our belief. So we're, we're sticking to mass. 870 is not going to buy it. Yeah. yeah. That's okay, we've got other considerations as well. So yeah. other we, we sort of feel that we've lifted the price from our offer was eight hundred and forty and then there was yeah. a vendor at eight fifty and we're eight sixty and we've just brought it up to eight seventy. Yeah. So yeah. we sort of haven't seen the competition which hasn't been around for the walkaway price. You know, don't mm. don't miss it for ten green, you're gonna take yeah. a loan from the bank for twenty five years. And if you like that one, well, this is better. Yep. Mm. Give us your best offer. Have a few minutes yep. if you want. But we, give us your best offer. Walk away yeah, price. Because they're not selling at 870. Mm. And, and there's no reason they should. But if you, if yeah. we're not far off either. Okay. Mm. Well, we you're at 870. They're at 900. Yeah. And we're 30,000 apart. Sure. Yeah. Well, we we're sort of stretching, and and this was based on our sort of expectations. We could final offer would be 875. Okay, so it's a very emotional decision for our vendors. Uh, we've now got an offer of $875,000 and our vendor has, has come down to $880,000 in price. So we're $5,000 away. This is the job of the agent to bring the parties together and uh, let's hopefully we can get a sole sticker up very shortly. The talks go back and forth for some time, but it seems Steve has pushed the couple as far as he can and they're already standing up to leave the negotiation table. This is Steve's last chance to secure a sale today. He speaks to the vendor one last time with a final offer of $877,500. Give me one more chance. Okay. okay. Alright, well done. Yes. Congratulations. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> It took a lot of back and forth, but Steve was able to secure a deal that's kept both parties more than happy. The vendor and her recently graduated son will move out after settlement, and this young couple can start their new life in Camberwell. For everyone involved, it's time to celebrate. To the new owners and to the former owners of One Bank Hall and Gunner Road, happy days to everybody. Yeah, congratulations. Cheers. Yeah, well done. Cheers. Yeah, well done. Cheers. Basically, we've got an opportunity there to sell the property for her today, a cash unconditional contract, which means there's no cooling off or it's not subject to finance or any, any such means. And as a result, uh, we're able to bring the parties together. It's in very close uh, percentage terms to what she actually wants. And um, yeah, she had a bit of counsel there from her friends and common sense prevailed. So well yeah. done.